pretty friendly match. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a friendly match. Obviously, there's going to be some competition behind it, but these guys are both from Europe. I'd say, well, man, I, li I like her models and all that. That's great, but to be honest, I kind of want to say that Sheik they could go with those puffs. Well, that Sheik has a much better chance versus puffs, just as character-wise. All right, we just got some uh, information that usually in the PAL version, uh, the Peach can win this match. Uh, the Sheik does not have the chain uh, combos, the grab combos in the PAL version. But in this version, definitely the Sheik has uh, a little bit of upper hand here. Yeah, that's going to feel real good for that Sheik, no doubt. And once again, uh, these two guys came to the United States. Damn. They came to the United States together. We don't know what their plans are. If uh, they want one another to advance to take on the Americans, we're not too sure how that's going to play out. Oh. But it just might be a straight match just to see whoever wins it takes it. P.S. I love that. Instead of down third F air, down third or neutral or quick F air like that, that was good. That was real pretty. No doubt. Damn, in the back of the head. That was just rude. It's not kind at all. And just give everyone what kind of idea what's going on here. This is an American tournament, so there's not a many people watching this matchup since it's two Europeans. Yeah, you can kind of hear the whole room kind of like let it an exhale. Yeah, right a, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people are going to play friendlies right now, but yeah. I'm sure they'll be back to watch uh, Hungry Box versus the winner of this. Now, I'm not gonna lie, if Peach wins this, and we have Peaches and Puffs stuff in the tournament. Primarily, I think a lot of people might go play friendlies. You know, let's <laughs> see Mango's Falco versus. Uh, That'd be some good stuff too. What I find weird is that the Europeans, the all the American characters like Peach Sheep, Bart, and the Americans call them weird aliens. Yeah, we're, we're talking to Hungrybox right here, and he, he wanted to point out that a lot of Americans use uh, a lot of top players using uh, like Fox and Falco and stuff like that, but with the Europeans, you see more like uh, like Peach and Sheik. It is interesting though the top two uh, two places right now in the bracket are two Jigglypuffs. That's true. Well, the top four finishers are floaty with one having a secondary or some secondary. That's very that true. Fast I know. Uh, two years ago, yep. the main things you'd see in finals were fast fallers That's or true. Marth. Yeah. You said floaties were kind of out. Yeah, the floaties were kind of getting outdated. It was Fox and Falco were taking over. But not now much. you have all these floaty characters. You can't predict the melee. So that's not you know it's not. This isn't Street Fighter, we have to ban characters, it's not Brawl, we're mad and I just rapes everything in sight. This game is just ridiculously balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys are penis a bunch. Alright, whoever's saying penis a bunch, you're getting timed out. Damn. Well, no, you're straight up banned. Damn, too bad. But I tell you what, this is for um, YouTube videos, so we shouldn't talk about the uh, chat as much, because these videos will stay long after the chat's gone. That's very, very true. Let's go back to the match. What are we looking at here? The Peach at 186. I don't know how he let that Peach at the 186. I mean, at this point, tap, F air, and I don't know the damn city tap. Right here should be death. That was wrong. And what I like about this is he's not used to playing the, uh, the American version of Melee, but he's still getting off all those grab combos that he can't do in the PAL version. Well, I heard they were training for NTSC. You know, I heard they anticipated this. Oh, I'm sure they must. You know, like we said, very competitive people. You know, they came here to win, so it's... It's not that they had a copy and we're training on it. Damn, that was real good. That turn will beat into that really quick neutral air. All right, here Watching. comes the master of the ledge guard. Up. Oh, damn. Messed that up. Now he's grabbed to the up smash. He definitely, the Sheik has to wait for opportunities to get in. So what he did was he ran up to that peach, waited for her to sidestep, and then grabbed her. You can't just run in and approach her. You have to wait. You have to use your needles to get in. True story. Yeah, and we've seen Amza is a very, very patient Sheik. Oh, wait as long as it takes. Damn, that's her first up. He's definitely extremely good. patient. We had a match earlier, him versus J-Man. And there was a lot of just patience because that Fox is just waiting for him. Yeah, true story. <laughs> nice. He got out of that combo. I was thinking the Emperor was going to hit there, but uh, Amza knows we're going to jump out against that piece, that's for sure. I'm pretty much tied up here looking at last knock on FD. First match of a best of five set. Again, we are on uh, <coughs> loser semifinals at pound four. Down throw. Chooses the F air. I might have should be able to get back. Went a little greedy, but that F air didn't work out for him. Did not work out for him at all. Now, I don't know how you feel about this wife.